Good evening and thank you for joining us. Over the last two weeks, there's been a lot of speculation, accusation, allegations around the death of a young Nigerian rapper, Ilirio Lua Oladimeji Aloba. His death has captivated the world. His face has been splashed on the mega screen at New York's Times Square. And virtually every major international media, CNN, BBC, the New York Times, Washington Post, enemy has written about him. And the world has been captivated. What happened to this young man? How did he die? What were the circumstances leading to his death? Now, there's been a lot of speculations, accusations about his death. And they all seem to center around a young man by the name of Aziz Adesino Fashola. And facts seem to have just mixed in with conjecture. And today, I want Nigerians and the whole world to know the truth. And that's why we are interviewing the man known as Naira Mali, Aziz Adesino Fashola. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, without further ado, because I'm not going to build around the bush, Nigerians want to know the truth, and so we're going to go straight and direct to the point. With all the speculations, accusations, and allegations around him, surrounding the death of Ilori Olua or Ladiwe Jaloba, people have said, and it's been reported, that you had a hand in his death. Now, I'm asking you directly, whether indirectly or directly, did you have any hand in the circumstances that led to the death of the young man known as Mubad? No. Definitely no. Do you want to elaborate? I don't want to elaborate. Um, yeah. I've been out of Nigeria from the 31st of August. Um, I've been with my family up to day. I haven't been to Nigeria. That's one. Two, um, he's left Malia Music since... I don't know the particular day, but since 2022, he's left Malia Music since I have, we have not stopped him from dropping music or anything. He's been working with one PR or something like that since, ever since. So when I heard about his death, it was shocking to me. I was high with the country as well. So, um, I have to find out what's wrong with him just as much as everybody's trying to find out. So I'm just finding out what's wrong with him online. I'm seeing all the lies too, but we have to kind of focus on the facts. Like, who was he with? How did he die? If you say, um, if you're blaming me, how did I kill him? I have, um, nothing to do with his death whatsoever. I was so hurt when I hurt myself. Nothing whatsoever to do with his death. I mean, if you look at the laws of physics, if you are away, you're currently in Europe. I mean, if you are some 5,000 miles away from Nigeria, I'm just, it's, it's hard to see how you could be directly responsible for his death. That's why I said directly or indirectly. Now, he recorded a video and in that video, he made some startling allegations. He said that, I mean, it was almost prophetic. He said, if anything should happen to him, that the world should hold you responsible. Now, why would he say that? today i don't understand i don't um i don't know why i tried to um get him help when he freaked out like that i wasn't even in the country when he made that video i was out of the country again when did he make the video do you know when he made the video um i'm sure he was doing the ndla i'm not really good at time he was doing the ndla time when they came okay but at the ndla they've since uh, released a statement saying that they arrested five people and that Ilerio Lua was not among those arrested. Um, looking at the video again, I was getting information. Like I said, I was out of the country. So I was getting information from everybody that was there um, doing the incident, like trying to send someone to the to NDLA before I got back. I got back the next day. When I got back, they said Mubad was not there. Mubad was not among the people Mobile, I didn't have to bear my bad out anyway when I got back. So I had to, it was only Zeno and the rest. I had to bear, bear that. My bad was already out. So it was, 
that paranoia. It was when he was out. Zeno was still in with Angelia at this time when he made that video. I wasn't around. I was outside Nigeria. When he made that video saying, if you die, they should hold Nagamali and the Malians. So when I got back, I did ask him and speak to him. So oh, you, you actually, you met him physically when you got back? Yeah, when I got back. Oh, sorry, my friend. When I got back, I met him and I spoke to him to try to find out what's, what was wrong. But he said, um, he doesn't understand. He apologized. Um, he, he apologized said, to you. Yes, he apologized. Do you have proof of that? Do you have proof, like maybe a recording or a witness or anything? Yeah, the second, like there's, um, I have videos of that. I have videos of that. Me speaking to him, like the only reason I had the video again is cause there's another time when I was in America and his girl called me to say, um, 